Well, when you thought you had enough radio equipment, you end up with people giving you more. And this is what I've got for you on this episode of the Communication Show. Elfnet, Elf here, Elfnet Gaming Signs of Communications. And what you're looking at is a pair of PM400 and UHF mobile radios with a HLN quadruple 3B, yeah, RIC interface. You can turn it off there, here on there. I got all this in the mail from a friend of mine back out west. He also sent me a cable, a USB cable kit to program portable radios. I'll show you that radio in a minute. In fact, he sent me this radio. The bo- b- the Chinese UVB5. Okay, that you can't see because the light sucks here. That that model, that that brand. I don't even bother saying that anymore because I just always get it wrong. Now, there's the box. There's the radio. And. That's a duplexer, if you remember that from my uh, other uh, GMRS type uh, mobile radio setup with a big controller, that's the same duplexer. I retuned it for the frequency it's in that. Um, I got to do something about the light in here, it's dark. <sighs> The floor of my shop is so nasty, there's so many wires. Now, you've seen this one in the past, in the videos. You've seen this radio in the videos of the past. The, the Wushan KGUB, KG-UVD1P radio. This radio has served me so well in the boat races and stuff. It's amazing. And then I got this one in the mail a couple of days ago. Here the box. I had a box that had this two these radios and this Rick. Now I got another set of these and that's on the GMRS frequency and it's got a rack mount controller. You saw that in a previous video. These are two new radios with this and it's got the one cable running the mic, the transmit thing, and the receiver coming out the back. It's really interesting. And um that's that. Um, that's the book. <laughs> this is a quote unquote professional grade amateur portal radio. <laughs> you know, that's two words that should never go together professional amateur. That's like military, military intelligence. Military intelligence. Those should never go together. Um, it's got all the features and the functions. I know you can't see this on the camera because the auto zoom and focus on this camera sucks ass. All the all the usual shit. If you've never owned a radio in your life, you should read this book. If you're experienced with ham radio and you've got half a brain in your head, you will order the programming cable and download the software and set this thing up the right way and, and fuck all the book, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's that. All of probably twenty, thirty bucks for that. I paid one hundred and twenty for that. It's four years old. Something tells me I ought to take a sledgehammer to these. But I'm gonna try it out and see how it works. I have already programmed this radio, and when I said program this radio, I put all of my community repeaters, including this one. Now watch. It works on this. <laughs> it does work. Funny, huh? The core enable setup. But aside from that, this little uh, Rick job here, I've got my community repeaters. I lease airtime on. I have always one there. There's another one there. 
And there's... Well, let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is. That one, and that one there, that one is about, I am sitting in a for my shop with this handheld radio, you know, inside a building, okay, a house here, on four watts, and it's hitting a repeater, this, this number four community repeater, which is about 15 or 20 miles from my location. That's, that's pretty impressive. I mean, my commercial stuff does that, but it's pretty impressive for a little cheapo, uh, you know, thing like this. Of course, my other repeaters, one and two and all them, are almost in my backyard. They're about a couple of miles down the road. Um, yeah, there's a charging cradle, prop cradle thing that will go in. It's uh, got... What looks like a wall warp, but there's no transformer in here. It's just a constant voltage, constant current type circuit with an LED. It's got the US plug because we're so awesome. <laughs> we we're, we can't be trusted with 240 volts in a house main, so they give us 120. <laughs> but compared to my previous dual band, this one is a bit smaller, has a smaller antenna that operates about the same as its long thing here. But this radio has a better display by far. It's got a matrix type alphanumeric display on it. That this one here has the uh, 7, 9, 12 segment, whatever type display and you're very limited to your alpha tags but um so my thoughts on it is of course if you're a ham operator you'll buy things like this and play with it and badmouth it later on youtube kind of like what i do with computer games um you cannot use this legally in business band nor it will run out of band and all the channels i have in it are in business band I personally could give a dick what an amateur operator tells me I can and can't do with a radio that I bought or was given to me as a gift that I own. It's none of their business anyway, but you know what? I, I know what the rules are, and I'm not actually going to use this radio in the field. I'm going to keep it here, probably somewhere, and just monitor with it. Same way I kind of do with this one. They're just like novelty items, and this one here has become more of a paperweight than anything. But, um, if you're a ham operator, yeah, you can get these. I mean, if you're just starting out with two meters or whatever, and you don't have a big budget, and you just want to talk, you got your license, and you want to talk to some people, then this would be it. You look them up on eBay, you can find them for 30 bucks or so. Some of them come, some of them come with the programming cable, and that's the one you want. Some come with your speaker mics or headphones, extra batteries, things like that. This one here, I paid $120 for four or five years ago. Um, they're, they're more like novelty items to me now. I don't actually use these. I monitor or use them for testing purposes or things like that. Just to have them. I mean, from what I gathered, if this thing can hit a repeater 15, 16 miles away and I'm sitting in the floor of my shop right now with it, it's got to be doing something good, and that's in the commercial band. I haven't tried to ping anything in ham bands yet, and I probably won't either. I'll just take their word for it and say that it works. But that is the UVB5 portable, that one right here. It's a pretty good radio. I seem to like it. I am not going to sell it to any of my customers, of course. It's a ham radio, not a commercial. And this is the uh, KG VD1P. They make newer ones, up to D D D6P or A or whatever. They so those are my two Chinese imported radios. This is the USB that takes the multi. Uh, there's different ends for this. It will program that. This is a pair of Motorola PM400s and the Motorola, Motorola repeater interface, RIC, 12 volts, 
is a big duplexer that I retuned for the frequency, the box, the book, and the end of this video.